All right, everyone, today I'm taking a look at the Kivik 1. It's a beta sample that I'm trying out for the company. Anyway, so here's the box that it comes in. I've already installed it over here in my car in the glove compartment. This is the Kivik product right here. Um, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable, which I've decided to use my own. A USB cable right here that you connect to the DC power in the vehicle, along with the HDMI hookup if you would like to hook it up somewhere with a screen. And then you're able to airplay the video from your iPhone 5 or iPad to the screen in your vehicle. So right now I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on and we're going to connect my iPad and go through that process and go all the way until we play music. All right. So the Kivik does have a wireless password on it. At this point in time, as far as the beta test goes, they have set it at 8765432.1. So we'll go in here and we'll find Kivik1. Type the password, 8765432 and 1, and join. Now you only have to do that the first time during the setup process, and then it'll be connected. Let's wait until this is ready here. And usually whenever you're um, already set up, like I have on my phone, once you turn the vehicle on, it's usually connected pretty quickly. So at this point, it is connected to my iPad. We'll go in and we'll select a playlist to start playing from. We'll do this one and play this song. And then we're going to have to go over and select the Kivik device to AirPlay to. And now the audio is coming through the vehicle speakers. Now really quick, I would like to just turn the vehicle off so the Kivik will be disconnected and you can see how long it takes to connect to the iPad itself. And I've noticed that whenever you turn the vehicle on and the Kivik receives power, it makes um, a slight noise letting you know that it has been connected. So we'll go ahead and turn the vehicle back on. Now the Kivik is powering up. <clears throat> and once we hear the little blip, we will know that it's connected and ready for audio. We'll just go ahead and swipe over here. That sound you just heard there means it's connected. So we have to select Kivik 1 to AirPlay 2 and we'll click play. There we go. And it does look like it is having a little difficulty right now. Let's try to select iPad again. Go back to the Kivik and press play. There we go. Keep in mind that this is beta software at this point, as well as beta hardware. They've told me that they're making several changes and they'll be giving us another beta sample with a new hardware revision along with new software that will come after. Thank you for watching.